Hey folks, Doom here, and happy May the 4th, May the 4th be with you. And I just thought I'd make a quick video on what I am doing today here for May the 4th. As you can see, I have some of my swag out here. And what I have decided to do is, of course, do a Star Wars marathon, but I have decided to give it a try with something called machete order and if you have not seen that this was invented by a man named and this is his blog site here his name's rob hilton and i'm gonna link in below to his site his blog and uh his reasoning for the machete order but anyways what it does basically is you're going to you're going to watch the films in such a way that he believes enhances the Luke and Anakin relationship while leaving off some of the other stuff that uh, in the film now I'm not saying I agree with this at all in fact I I do not because primarily what the film does is that it takes or what the order does is that it takes this film and completely removes it from the experience and then what he suggests is that you is that you watch episode that you watch episode four, five, then cut to two and three, and then lastly, episode five. That is the, that is the machete order. And again, can't say I agree with this, but I'm going to give it a shot and uh, and see what it likes and see what the experience is like. Now he suggests this for a new um, uh, for a new fan. He believes this um, this shows a better uh, better overall viewing of the film. Again, I think episode one, despite all its faults, and there are many, there are legion. It is necessary for a few reasons specifically this guy here Qui-Gon I think he is extremely necessary it's necessary for the viewer to know Qui-Gon to understand him to understand his relationship to both Obi-Wan and Anakin and it's very important to the film uh, without him I feel that you skip you, you basically skip a line in what I call the Jedi Royal Order, which is Yoda, Dooku, Qui-Gon, Obi-Wan, and then Anakin. And then, of course, Luke, who is also a student of Obi-Wan and Yoda. Uh, without that, you're left with knowing Dooku and then Obi-Wan, but then having this mysterious character, Qui-Gon, that you maybe only heard of in some of the other movies. So uh, if nothing else, I believe Phantom Menace is important for that feature. Uh, and it's important for you to know Qui-Gon and know his rebellious nature um, and to understand where some of the where some of the teaching involved both of these characters kind of going off from the Jedi norm. And of course this character going far off from the Jedi norm and uh, actually rebalancing the Jedi Order. Um, of course, this character, Luke, really uh, helps bring the Jedi back into order, but because of that relationship um, that Qui-Gon had, and I believe being a more neutral Jedi, um, I believe that that did or will and we shall see maybe in episode seven i believe we'll see a more more neutralized jedi order i don't know we shall see but uh anyhow those are just some of my beliefs but i'm going to give the machete order a shot so uh as i said i have uh 
all my stuff with me and I have um, I have some of the bonus uh, videos here too that I, I may watch I don't know we'll see and uh, so we'll just uh, have a drink and uh, may the force be with you later folks you've been doomed <laughs>